James Jachikwesen has pleaded not guilty to five counts of deceit of a public officer, forgery of passports or travel certificates, false statutory declaration, perjury, and false declaration for office. Prior to the 2020 parliamentary election, Quayson applied to renounce his Canadian citizenship but did not receive the certificate. Per the Supreme Court's interpretation of the 1992 Constitution, since Quayson had not received his renunciation certificate, he was still a Canadian citizen at the time he filed with the Electoral Commission to contest the 2020 election and so he was therefore not qualified. The 2020 parliamentary election results at Asin North was therefore annulled and the seats declared vacant. He has since won a by-election and is now set to be sworn in as Member of Parliament for Asin North. However, the charges of forgery and perjury in relation to certain alleged offences in the run-up to the 2020 Asin North parliamentary election are still pending. Lawyers for Judge Equation had cited the Attorney General of making prejudicial comments, a situation they stress emboldened President Akufuado to make similar remarks during the Asin North by-election. <laughs> Other prominent individuals, including former President Mahama. The president is wrong if he said that, because he's prejudicing the case in court. Because the constitution is clear. It says to be eligible to be an MP, you should not owe allegiance. And it's at the point of election that that kicks in. Not when you're filling ordinary forms. And speak of parliament, Alban Bagbin also commented on Judge Equation's criminal trial. He has elected a fresh MP, and I have to go and swear him in uh, <laughs> to start his work. In spite of the fact that uh, the same thing I complain about is still happening, they are chasing after him and trying to prosecute him, even though we know that, even in that respect that they are talking about, there are many more of us who have the same thing, but they are not being prosecuted. That is the country we are in, and we need to bring this out. Once we have selective justice. As the case unfolds, there have been calls for the Attorney General to discontinue the trial in its entirety with the latest by the Domahini Osadiyo Ajimambedu II, who is also a High Court judge. 57.56. As a matter of urgency, I'm appealing to the President of the Republic if he has any role to play. Yeah. That trial should be aborted. The Attorney General should, as a matter of agency, file a nolle prosequa to end that particular decision. In the advent of these happenings, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Yabu Adame, has described such comments as one that could undermine the administration of justice. I'm not going to comment on it right now. I'll come up with a proper statement on the matter. And it will be in respect of all comments generally which have the tendency to subvert the administration of justice. I think that is very unhealthy for our um, democratic dispensation and, and therefore we must not countenance him. Lawyers of Judge Equation have filed an appeal against the ruling of an Accra High Court which held that his criminal case will be heard on a daily basis from July 4. In court on Thursday, June 29, presiding judge Marianzo adjourned the hearing for lawyers of the Asin North MP elect to properly serve a motion to halt proceedings till the outcome at the Court of Appeal. Lodi Rasari, TV3 News, Accra.